I'm here with Sterla Gunnarsson, Academy Award nominated, Emmy Award winning, Vancouver raised, but now Toronto based director of Monsoon the Movie. It's absolutely beautiful. What did you set out to, what kind of film did you set out to make? I wanted to make a trippy film. I wanted people, I wanted it to be uh, immersive and cinematic mm -hmm. and human. I wanted it, people to feel as though they'd, they'd journeyed through the monsoon in India with me. Faith is also a theme that's explored a lot in this film. How did your faith change through this film? Well, you know, India is the land of believers. There, people worship hundreds of thousands of gods, some say millions. But the one thing that you can be sure of is that everybody believes, they have mm -hmm. faith. I'm not a believer. I mean, I have faith enough to get out of bed in the morning. Yeah. Um, but that's about as far as it goes. It's in India, any time, and especially during the monsoon, is, is that, that there's this incredible sense of chaos. Mm -hmm. There's this incredible sense of forces that we have no control over. And uh, whether you're a believer or a non-believer, at some point you have to let go. And is that a principle that governs your life and, and how you behave? Yes, well as a filmmaker you kind of have to, you know, because what we do is impossible. Every film is a miracle and you have faith that somehow uh, at the end of the day you're going to have a movie. So now I wanted to switch gears literally and ask you about some of that equipment that you're using and its impact, you know, when you bring such beautiful equipment and even that type of the tracks and into the small villages in India and everyone kind of gathers around you guys to like stare at what you're doing. How does that impact your filmmaking process? Yeah, no, there was more than a few moments where we became the story, for right, sure. Yeah. You know, and, and in India, people are so curious and so kind of um, open. Mm -hmm. a, it's one of the things I love about India is, is this sort of openness that you feel. And, and er, yeah, everybody wants to see what you're doing. And, and, and so my son was along. He was the camera assistant. And sometimes uh, if, if we had to, he'd, he'd go off down the street and set up a shot whose sole purpose was to, to, to draw the crowd so that we could do what we were actually doing. Uh, so we'd have one camera who, that was functioning really just as a distraction. I have to tell you my favorite shot in the film was when um, you're coming down the canal and I think it's Akila, she's on the bridge, I think you may have shot it with a drone. You kind of come over the water, you come over her and you come up and above the trees and you just see just water and you go, it's this massive pan. Can you tell me about that shot? Well, we flew a guy in from Hyderabad with, uh, with a drone. And, and, and we shot it really just hours before the levees burst. And so it was this moment where, where the water was so high and everything was swollen just to the point of bursting. And, and the idea was just to kind of begin with her and, and to reveal the fact that, that you feel as though you're on solid ground when you're ground level. As soon as you get up 10 feet, you realize that you're in a sea of water. There's, there's virtually no ground left. You're surrounded by water. And I wanted to ask you as well, this is also for gear guy behind here too. Um, so with the drone, you know, you're shooting in a monsoon with a drone and there's like, huge winds going. What was the danger? Was it dangerous? Were you guys concerned about that? The guy who owned the drone was very concerned. He didn't want to do the shot. <laughs> he said, you can't do that. Coming across the bridge and there's trees. He said, let's go somewhere where there's more space. And I said, no, this is the shot I want. He said, I can't do it. And I said, well, then you should go back to Hyderabad. I became like an ugly Canadian. How hard was it to keep every, your equipment dry? I, you know, I saw the behind the scenes shots. Basically, you're just umbrelling the camera. Like, you guys are soaked head to toe. I mean, we had a housing for the camera. We had a, a rain deflector in front of the lens. We had electric blankets to keep the lenses warm mm -hmm. because if they, uh, uh, the glass is cold in air and they would mist up. Yeah. So, I mean, we had all that technology, but really, if I could have only had one piece of technology, it would have been the umbrella. That was the most important piece. All right, so if for us, if we're ever shooting really low budget, that's the one key piece. Take the umbrella and, and a couple of key, two or three cameras. All right, thank you so much, Sterla Gunnarsson from Monsoon the Movie. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure.